All right, so last time we set up our collisions, our wall detection and collision detection in particular. Uh, real quick before we go on, in the idle, I did forget to do direction settings. So let's do left, click on the left, click on the right, and click up. So we will need those adjusted. So let's save the project. All right, so now let's learn about colliders for tiles and also a little bit about layers in the map. So we're going to put this house into the scene. We want the player to not be able to walk through this part, but we want the player to be able to walk through this part. And so what we're going to do is we are going to select this front part. You can just click and, and pull it to get a lot of tiles. Then we're just going to click all walls, meaning that all directions the wall will not let you move with your wall collision. And again, there is a bunch of other options. I wish I knew more about them. Maybe someday. All right. So, so we set them, and they kind of look like this. Uh, we don't set anything like an RM where you set like stars or or other things to get stuff over. That's all done actually within the scene layers. So let's go to layer one. This is where our ground is and this is where our player is. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a learning thing right now and we're just gonna go through it just so you can see exactly what's going to happen. So first off, let's just drag this whole thing in. So you, yeah, you just click, uh, select it all and then click it into the scene. So you'll notice right away that it gives these these gray things around it. And remember, you can uh, right click to lose that thing that you're trying to put on the scene. So let's play and see what it looks like. And sure enough, it's not letting me walk through, but it also has black around the, it has black around the house and you're walking over the roof when we want to walk behind the roof. So the reason why you're having the black behind the tile is because literally when you select this, you are pulling everything, even what that's around it, the transparency that's around it. And you're saying now on this layer, I don't want the grass anymore. I want that. So how do we get around that? Well, first off, let's get this grass again. How you get around it is you put it on a different layer. So let's do layer two. And again, this is going to be a learning curve. But let's put the house on. And now let's click play. And the house is not there. There's no collisions where the house should be. There's nothing. Okay, so... The reason why is because the far, the leftmost layer is the one that will appear on the top, if, if that makes any sense. So what we need to do is order our layers a little different. So first off, let's delete this house from layer two. And let's go to layer one and let's change the name and we're going to name it ground. And we're going to move it all the way over to the right. We're also going to take our player our player is on the ground right now and we're going to delete it. Yep, we're going to delete it. We're gonna go back to object and then we're gonna to go to this layer, change the name and we're gonna call it the player layer. Well, or player. Now the, the play, well, let's drag him in first. So let's get the object in here, okay? Uh, one thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to scale it again. I I would recommend that you just get the sprite the way you want it first. This is just because I messed up and didn't size it right. So we have the ground to the right of the player. Let's hit play and see how that looks. Okay, so the player is on the ground again. Nothing new. So now let's go to tiling again. And let's grab the house and let's put the house on the player layer, just like that. And let's click play. And you'll notice that 
The house is on the gr- on top of the ground this time. No black area around it. And the wall collision is actually working. But I can still walk over the roof. That's because you have to have an above layer. So I'll just call this above. And so let's go back to the player and let's uh, right click on the grass and then let's delete the the part that's supposed to be above the player. And now let's go to the above layer. Let's select the roof and then let's attach it to that house. And now let's click play. All right, so we are now, we can't move around there, but now we are going behind the house. It looks really smooth and it just, it feels really good. Like for a pixel movement game, I mean, this is pretty, pretty nice. So that's the general basics of a tile collision and then we got to go over some of the layering, how the layers work in the map. And with so many different layers, you can you can really get any effect that, that you're looking for. So that's it for this, and I'm not sure what we'll do next, but maybe we'll do an attack swing or something like that.